Because I, I don't know if you remember me or not. The guy from the accident? Yeah, I brought you to the hospital. You were with me when I first woke up. You didn't tell me that my boyfriend and my daughter were dead. I didn't think you should hear it from me. It's so much better hearing it from my mother. Look, I, I didn't know if you'd have any questions about what happened. It's pretty simple. You promised that you would save them, and you didn't. Tell me everything that happened, every single thing from the second I passed out, everything they said, okay. everything that you did. Okay. I got a crowbar from my brother's trunk. Can, and I ran over to your car. It, it, was, it was slipping, and the whole passenger side was hanging over the edge of the cliff. That's the only way to get out. That, that's the way I got out. Oh, you were really brave. Tell me the rest. Paul saw me running up to the car, and uh, he asked me to get your girl, your little girl, out first. And he kept trying to reach for her, but every time he did, the, the, the car would rock a little, and the the guardrail would give way a little more. And I tried to pry the door open, but every time I, I, I did, the car was the car was too unstable, and I, I was afraid I was going to make it fall. The, the car was slipping, and I knew we couldn't wait for the rescue team to come, so I went back to the car. And the, by the time I got there, the whole guardrail. It gave way, and the whole thing started to slip. And I, and I tried to grab on as hard as I could and use my weight to pull back, but it, it was too heavy. Did you see their faces when they fell? No, no, it, it happened too fast. Is there any way they could have gotten out? The start. I am so sorry. I couldn't save them. So am I. So am I. I don't think I've had the chance to miss Cole and Hope yet. I can't even make myself believe that they're gone, that this actually happened. Look at how happy we are. Look at how beautiful she is. She's beautiful. I barely even looked. I spent hours looking at that picture when you were unconscious. I hope you don't mind. I looked through your wallet to find your ID. Why did you stay with me? You don't even know me. Actually, uh, you're the one who doesn't know me. I'm Michael Corinthos. Corinthos? Those. You know the name? I think so. You probably read it in the papers. Even in Atlanta. No, you... no, it was something. Hey, I think I just got up. So you're you're back? Uh, yeah, I thought Star would have more questions about the accident. Listen, so... I, I I know that you mean well, but my daughter's going oh, through no. a terrible ordeal. Mama, so it's, it, it's okay. It was good talking to him. Okay, well, you... You need to rest, though, sweetheart, okay? All right. Take care. Michael. Thank you for everything that you did. Thank you for trying to save Cole and Hope. Max told me Dad is arrested. Yeah, look, Alexis is in with him right now. Can you find evidence? Look, we, we recovered a weapon used on Anthony Zakar's car in a place that Sonny could have left it. Okay, are you sure it was Dad's? No, the serial number's been scraped up, but it's a 9mm, the same kind of gun that Sonny had last night. I just... I just saw Star at the hospital. I don't want to think that Dad killed her, 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 her boyfriend and her little girl. No, neither do I. Doesn't mean he's in it. All the evidence that you have is circumstantial, so you need to release my client. 
Well, you tell that to Mac. Until I hear otherwise from him, he's in a cell. You're violating his rights. You have no grounds to hold him. Like I said, talk to Mac. I am following orders. Let's go. Michael, do what I said. Stay clear of this. You understand me? Hey, my shoulder! 